Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope that y'all are having a wonderful start to your week. I am going to start off all of my cleaning today in the kitchen because my cousin and her husband and their five kids had just left my house and we actually ended up having some more family come over too. So we had a very full house, lots of messes. I was totally fine with that. I know I've told y'all before, I kind of thrive in all the chaos, but I did want to get things cleaned up and kind of get our main living area back to normal. And I won't pick up, you'll spend your time with your watch Counting down the clock, you'll go insane, go insane And I like it But you haven't seen all of me yet Now I'm just beginning your work in progress You might think you know me, but soon you forget I'm too insane, too insane And you know it, you got to I mentioned this on Instagram, but I kind of just shifted my posting days a little bit. I normally would have posted this video on Sunday two days ago, but just the way that everything worked out with our family going out of town, this is just kind of what worked best. So thank you guys so much for being patient and understanding with me. And I know so many of you have said that you'll just watch whatever I post. It doesn't matter when I post it, but I do like to stay on a consistent schedule. So for the most part, if you are new to my channel, I post every single Sunday and every other Thursday. Just this week is a little bit different. So insane, and you like it. You got to learn to like me again and again. Cause I will make you love me again and again. Just when you think you love me, you'll think again. Cause I will make you hate me again and again. You got to learn to love to know when you are having big groups of people over at your house what types of meals do y'all cook so y'all probably know I'm pretty much the most basic cooker you would ever be around but I decided to make tacos for one night or I typically make spaghetti or sloppy joes sometimes barbecue chicken I don't really think outside the box that much or at least the little box that I have here of the normal foods that I cook but I would love to know what you guys cook for larger groups you, you told me to take things slow but now I don't know which way to go you tear me up, tear me up, 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 up Then you fix me up, all for fun You tear me up, tear me up, 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 up Then you fix me up, all for fun The games that you play You're making me sweat One fun thing we did for breakfast with all the kids was I bought some containers of cinnamon rolls and I put them in the waffle maker and just kind of smushed them down and then heated up the icing and kind of drizzled it over the top. 
The kids love them. I actually didn't end up eating one, which is kind of silly, but my kids love them. They were a hit. They want them again. Mark loved them too. I'm 100% not cleaning this waffle maker correctly. I wonder what the correct way is because if whatever it is, it wasn't that because I don't think the cord is supposed to be anywhere near the water, but I wanted to get it thoroughly clean. So if you guys know the correct way to clean it, holler at me. Ever so often, actually a lot often, my trash cans need to be wiped out as well as like the top of this drawer cabinet thing. It gets pretty nasty. In fact, our entire island needs a good repainting. Fun random side fact, when we moved into our house, our island was brown and that's the way that I had picked it out when we designed our home and I just could not learn to love it. I didn't love it because it kind of had like a red tone to it. So last minute we had it painted this gray color, which I do love, but hear me out. I'm kind of considering since we're going to go with lighter floors soon. And by soon, I mean in the next year or two, I don't really know, maybe sooner than that. And I think that I want to paint our Island black. I think it would look so good and the rest of my kitchen is so bright and then the floors will be light too. So what do you guys think about that? Also, so many of y'all have asked me what my trash bags are. So I figured I would take a second to show y'all what the box looks like. Since you can kind of see it in this shot, I just wanted to take a second and say thank you guys so, so much for all of the love on our mudroom transformation video. Mark and I had so much fun doing it, and for the most part, your comments were so sweet and positive. And I actually totally get if that type of design is not your style. We just went with something that was our style and something that we loved. And I still smile every single time I see the room or walk through it. I don't regret it for one second. And we are looking forward to moving on to our next project. Mark and Ava were getting ready to run a quick errand and I am just using my favorite cleaner on the countertop. At least it has been my favorite for the past few months. It's called Microban and it works so well. And I have been a little bit confused by some people saying it doesn't clean your surfaces because it absolutely does. 
but if you spray it and let it sit for a while, then it also disinfects and kills germs and all that. I use it for any and all of the above. It smells really, really good. And to me, it's just the same as if I were to wet my towel and run it over the countertop. I just use this spray instead. So I get a little bit confused by people saying it doesn't clean because it totally does, but it's also a really good disinfectant too. I just kind of wanted to take a second and share my heart with you guys, especially from the motherhood perspective of things, because my kids have been home with me since March, as have pretty much all of the children, and I think that was what was best for the time for sure. But now we're about to be heading into a new school year, and there are so many unknowns. I know that my kids want to go back to school and I know that's what I want for them too, but we don't always get what we want and sometimes we have to shift and adjust. I know there's going to be a ton of shifting and adjustment with Mark working from home and me working from home too. If you guys are in the thick of it with me, whether you're working or not, just being a mom is enough work and it's overwhelming and we're trying to juggle everything just know that i see you and i feel you and i hear you we are going to get through this together and i feel like it's going to be something we can look back on instead of continue to experience every single day but just try not to feel down try to have more positive days than negative days and just keep pushing forward even though some days i feel you it feels like we do the same thing every day all day we clean for our kids. We cook for our kids. I'm totally in it with you. So you guys just aren't alone. Don't ever forget that. I'm somewhere in the middle. Try to find myself again. But life is one big riddle. All the future and what's been. Cause it's the way it goes. And I will never know why you let me go. Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm alone I got it, I got it It's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I'm leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm wrong I got it, I got it I actually did try to stay on top of keeping this dining room area clean when my family was here because if you go one meal without wiping things down and sweeping and vacuuming underneath it is insane by the next meal time so I tried to stay on top of it it doesn't look too too bad considering we had lots and lots of people in my house for a few days 
I also kind of chose to sanitize everything. I know it was just family and all that, but I did want to make sure that I got things as clean as possible. It just makes me feel good anyway to get this done. Do you guys remember when we were having those spider problems in our bedroom? They were really just tiny little spiders. Sometimes we occasionally get them in the kitchen too. Do you know what we have in our house now? And I've seen, I think four of them now, or maybe five. So I feel like there's just an absolute war. Wolf spiders. If you don't know what those are, look them up. It will terrify you and give you nightmares, but I am lucky enough that they are just crawling around my home, so. I just wanna leave Cause you know I really try To put my feelings to the side Okay, now moving on to Kate's room. She actually keeps her room pretty clean. Sweet Kate. She always has her dolls lined up. They always have some type of accessory with them. She lines up all their shoes. She makes her bed every single day. She folds up her clothes. She puts them in the dirty clothes. She is just always on top of things, but her room still occasionally does need a deep clean where I clean the baseboards and whatnot. So that's what I'm doing now. And I wanted to put up her new mirror that we got from Wayfair and I was so excited about it. Y'all know I've been kind of looking for something to fill the space, so I can't wait to show it to y'all.
I kind of played around with how I wanted things set up in this corner and if I'm being completely honest, which those of you who have followed along with me for a while already know this, I have these strategically placed because this was my very first time doing peel and stick wallpaper and I didn't do a terrible job but I also didn't do the best job you've ever seen in your life. So. It kind of needed two bigger things over in that corner. I originally got the locker, which covered up a tiny bit, but I needed something else to cover stuff up. So that is why I have both of them. Kate loves it. I kind of love it. And it also helps me to forget how much I messed up. I'm just kidding. I didn't mess up that badly, but it's kind of nice having that in the corner. And I love mirrors. I want a mirror in every single room. I think they're so fun. They make a room feel bigger. And this one from Wayfair was not that expensive at all. It was less than $200. I am always trying to keep laundry going and there's always going to be laundry. That's just an understatement for a family of six, but I wanted to go ahead and wash the bedding that my family had used and most of the children chose to sleep in a sleeping bag or directly on the floor. That's what they wanted. So I really didn't even have a ton of sheets to wash. And now that my kids are in bed, I wanted to tackle the playroom. So they actually volunteered to clean it up, but because it was kind of a huge mess, I wanted things to go back into the correct containers. So I told them, don't worry about it. I'll just clean it up once y'all go to bed. And they loved waking up the next morning to a clean playroom. My kids are actually pretty good about keeping things mostly clean, but when a lot of other kids come over and they all play together, that's when all of the major chaos happens.
I don't feel like I really thought I would Or is it like it should? Did we hold on for too long? Could you tell me, babe, what went wrong? Now we're free For a brief second, I thought about doing some kind of fun organization with the books. I've seen people do them, like the colors of the rainbow, but my kids read so many books. They pull out so many books. They typically put them back, but then they kind of look like this. So I don't know. I kind of am adopting the philosophy that I feel like so many people have, which is done is better than perfect. And it's better for them to be back in their place than look perfect, especially since they're pulled out all the time. But it feels good to have a clean playroom and I wanted to come back in the laundry room and trade over the laundry, try to stay on top of it since I knew we were about to be heading out of town. I had noticed earlier in the day that there was a huge spider web at the bottom of this window and a few cobwebs in the light fixture, probably a wolf spider making himself at home, but I wanted to get it down and get it all cleaned up. It is so much more obvious during the daylight. You can't quite see it at night, but I did get it all down. And now I am trying to do some laundry in our downstairs laundry room because like I said, I pretty much do laundry all day, every day. It's a huge job to keep up with it, but it does feel good to have productive days and get a lot done. On those dry ass silhouettes, I'm numb, you stay the night. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. The next video coming up on this channel is going to be a really good one. So you guys make sure that you're subscribed and turn your notifications on. And I am heading to the beach with my family, as you guys know. So don't forget to follow me over on Instagram, which is linked in the description box. And I'll put it here on the screen too. But it's just a fun way that you can keep up with our family and you can message me over there too. But I love you guys so much. I hope that y'all have a wonderful week and I will see y'all here on Sunday. Bye.